What's going on YouTube, GSN right here. So in today's video, we have a new update for Clockabanga, which is basically like Kawabanga, but for iOS 16.0 up to 16.5 and also 16.6 .6 beta one, which allows you to add tweaks and themes and stuff like that to your device without a jailbreak. This video is brought to you by Terrorshare Reboot, a software that allows you to recover your device if it's no longer powering on, fix the broken iOS, fix errors, and it can fix up to 150 of those errors in system issues like your device stuck on Apple logo or recovery mode and stuff like that. So if your device has issues, it freezes, it doesn't power on anymore, it shows the Apple logo or it's not booting properly or it's stuck in a boot loop because of a jailbreak, you can definitely test Tenorshare Reboot, which is compatible with the latest iOS 17 beta and it can also perform downgrades from iOS 17 beta back to a previous version without jailbreaking. Definitely check the program out in the link below. A free trial is available for both Windows and Mac OS. A while ago, Lemon Limes, which is the developer behind Kawabunga and Clackabunga released this. I was out for a couple of days, so I missed making a video on this one, but Clockabunga version 2.0 is now out, which basically includes the rebrand to Clockabunga. It added changing the passcode keys option and it added the resolution changer. So that's quite nice. If you go ahead in here on GitHub, you can find the whole project. And this one is based on KFD exploit, which is compatible with iOS 16.2 up to 16.5, but in theory it can also work on iOS 16.0, although up to iOS 16.5 it can work on iOS 15 and even 14 with some modifications. However, Clockabunga supports iOS 16.2 all the way up to iOS 16.5 and it does support 16.6 .6 beta 1. Now it's important to mention that this works on all modern devices, including iPhone 13, 12, iPhone 11 and stuff like that, so all of them are supported, but it doesn't support the older devices, or at least not to my knowledge. And installing it can be done with Altstore, Site Loadly, Xcode, whatever you choose. The project is fully open source, so you may choose to actually compile it yourself. The version 2.0 update was released four days ago, and um, you can go ahead and get it right here on the releases tab. It's available over here, version 2.0, and you get clockabunga.ipa. Now, in terms of similarity, as I said, this one works like Kawabunga, but it doesn't have nearly as much features. It works like Misaka in a way. Misaka Package Manager does have multiple of these tweaks in here but um, yeah it's similar to that it does basically similar tweaking for home screen for uh, hiding the dock changing some passcode screen and whatever so let's see it in action real quick if I go ahead in here I have the device connected on QuickTime and you can see here the uh, clockabunga installed and once you open it it looks like this it's the version 2.0 so here you have the option to apply the tweaks or to respring then here on the tools we have the currently available tools like springboard tools which are these over here folder blur library pop background, notification, banner, whatever. There seem to be more options in here than are listed on GitHub. Then here on fonts, you can add your own fonts. And here on passcode faces, you can change basically each button to something else. On the settings app customizer, you can remove the icons if you want to, you can remove the labels, you can uh, basically set an image on top of the uh, settings bar over here. So that's a quick little thing. Here on the miscellaneous, you can set your own resolution if you want to. And you have the uh, gesture or dynamic island, which you can set, for example, for iPhone 10 gestures or the dynamic island from iPhone 14 and then in here we have the explore tab which contains the passcodes you can set up passcode screens like this you download it and you apply it and there are multiple to choose from and in here you have the locks which is this over here and it shows basically the um, icon for locking your device is being changed and you can choose which one you want for locking and unlocking and stuff like that so that's basically it once you're done you just press apply tweaks and that's it, your device respringes and the tweaks should be applied. So that's basically it with Clockabunga. Not a lot of features compared to Kawabunga, but it's also still in development. Thank you for watching, I am GSNow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and check out Clockabunga below. Peace out.